Uh, let me turn to uh, Andriy Pivovarsky, the uh, infrastructure uh, minister, um, and uh, hear from him for a few moments. Then we'll have uh, a couple more questions to the audience, and then I hope there'll be a little bit of time at the end for questions from the audience to the panel. Um, but, Minister Pivovarsky, uh, I understand as part of your plans, um, there are, you're preparing Ukrzeliznica, uh, uh, and also the airports of Borisbil and Lviv, um, you're turning them into uh, state-owned companies with a view to potential uh, privatization. Is that right? And uh, could you uh, fill us in on those plans? You're shaking your head. Maybe that's not correct. But anyway. That is not correct, actually. Uh, for Ukrzeliznica, the goal is to corporatize the company by the end of the first half of the year. That's, uh, th 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 this is the ongoing reform. Um, and the goal is to centralize the management, the management structure, to streamline the management structure, to get away from the, uh, uh, from, uh, the uh, regional hubs. Y you know that there is the central management of Ukrzaliznice and then there are six Ukrza local Ukrzaliznices that are local kingdoms pretty much. Uh, we want to get away from those kingdoms. We want to have one management team. Uh, we want to centralize the cash flows. Uh, preferably, I would like to have one bank account for uh, Ukrzaliznica. Um, and uh, so the idea is to corporatize the company. Uh, and uh, after that, move on to the discussion of what can be subject to uh, competition uh, and what should stay in public domain, in the state domain forever. My view is that the um, non-movable assets should stay with the state forever, although they can be transferred to the uh, uh, joint stock company. But the rolling stock and the uh, repair base can be subject to competition, private uh, competition. Uh, but what is more important right now than the corporatization is actually uh, the corruption fight and the in Ukrzaliznica and the change in the procurement uh, system. Uh, there is a new guy uh, who runs Ukrzaliz Postaj, which is the main procurement body for Ukrzaliznica. He's been there for three weeks uh, now. He is uh, the only Ukrainian who actually received a special certificate in London in the special school of procurement. He used to work for OECD. He was responsible for procurement and he's actually now head of this uh, organization. Uh, there is a new website. It was launched last night. Well, it was relaunched last night. Uh, you can go online and see the calendar for all procurement for 2015. And uh, uh, now we have online uh, video conferencing for all procurements taking place in Ukrzaliznica. Again, you can go to Ukrzaliznica's website or to Ukrzaliz Postaj website. Uh, you can click on the button and see online uh, the bidding process and how the procurement takes, uh, uh, takes place. Number two, in terms of corruption, uh, if it is extremely important to remove uh, uh, a number of bu bureaucratic mm -hmm. schemes that have been created for the purposes of stealing money from Ukrzaliznica or uh, making things um, complicate life for business so that someone comes uh, and offers uh, a fee to simplify uh, actually uh, life for, uh, for a business. And um, uh, together with the current uh, um, acting CEO, Max Blanc, and together with uh, a number of people that have been integrated over the past month or so, uh, we started changing these things. And as of yesterday, any online retailer can sell Ukrzaliznica's tickets online now. And anyone, there are no uh, obstacles. Um, I hear, um, I get feedback from business uh, 
I, I will not name names right now, but I hear a lot of feedback uh, uh, that uh, there are certain obstacles on the uh, regional level. Uh, for instance, uh, someone can uh, have delays in getting wagons for shipments because there is no fuel. And uh, every morning I get uh, analysis of what's the situation with fuel across the country for all the Kozaliznitsas. And uh, um, as a result of uh, certain actions of the uh, regional kings, uh, large companies such as uh, ArcelorMittal Metal can experience issues with their shipments. Uh, inland and um, export shipments and import shipments. So as a result of um, a number of such incidents, there will be a significant change uh, in the management of one of the regional Ukrzaliznitsas. Tomorrow uh, I investigated a, a case and it was proven that there were artificial issues created for Absolor Metal. Uh, so uh, I'm trying to act immediately uh, and uh, in case I uh, find out that there was a true incident, believe me, sometimes I get false information, uh, such things happen. So in terms of Ukrzaliznica, the priority is to corporatize, that's number one, and finish this process. Number two, it's the fight uh, against corruption. And number three, related to the second issue, that's the change in the procurement system. And we'll get to the electronic bidding, hopefully, uh, by the end of the uh, first half uh, of this year. Uh, and yeah, and uh, by the way, we um, started the, the competitive process for the selection of the new CEO. And hopefully over the next uh, few days, uh, I'll make an announcement who will go to the nomination committee. And the nomination committee will decide who will be the next CEO of Fukurzaleznica. Uh, despite uh, uh, numerous recommendations to uh, use my power to appoint the CEO, um, uh, we all actually decided that uh, on the cabinet of ministers level, on all 62 companies that are uh, strategic companies for this country, we will not make individual appointments. We'll go through the nomination committee process. And the airports? Yeah, the, the airports the same way. Uh, honestly speaking, for Karzaliznica, there, um, uh, uh, there, there was an e easy, pretty much, uh, selection process. A lot of good candidates actually applied for the airports. And I'm honestly speaking, having uh, certain issues with the candidates that, uh, that applied, but again, uh, it will be done only through a competitive selection process. There is no other way. Okay, thanks very much indeed. We're, we're running short of time, so let's do uh, the, uh, the, next, the final two uh, audience questions. Um, so please take your handsets uh, again, um, uh, and let's move on to the next question. So here's your chance to, uh, in a sense, say what you think of the, uh, the, the, new, the new government. Uh, I, said, I said the audience wouldn't be uh, judging your performance this morning, but um, they do get a chance to, in a sense, judge the performance in two and a half months. Uh, so with this government in place for two and a half months, all of two and a half months, uh, what has happened to your perception of Ukraine as an investment destination? Uh, simple question, simple answers. A, has it improved? B, has it not changed? Or C, has it worsened? Uh, and we, have, uh, we have our fifth minister. I did say we would have five ministers. Uh, the fifth one has just arrived. Uh, okay, voting is open, uh, so please do vote on this question. Only three choices this time. You have five seconds left. Make, don't miss your chance. Okay, voting has closed. Oh, okay, oh, definitely, <laughs> definitely improved. 
definitely improved. And once again, adjusting for turnout, as I know we have to do, uh, that's, a, uh, that's a very clear um, majority, actually uh, close to 70% of those who, who voted uh, said uh, their perception had improved. So, uh, final question to the audience. Uh, again, three choices. Get your crystal ball out. A year from now, how do you see the future of Ukraine? Uh, answer A, will Ukraine successfully tackle the conflict in the East and demonstrate signs of economic recovery? <laughs> Uh, B, will it remain saddled with pressing economic and security issues? Uh, C, uh, will it be uh, B, answer B, so remain saddled with issues uh, and lose even more of its territory to Russia? Okay, please make your choice from those three uh, starting now. Ten seconds left. And voting closes now. So let's have a quick look at those. Okay, well, uh, positive result. <laughs> Again, a large, uh, a large majority uh, of those who voted uh, said uh, Ukraine will successfully tackle the conflict in the East and demonstrate signs of economic recovery. So uh, I hope that's partly been influenced by what you've heard this morning.